crazy couple of months I'm so happy to have my own place and I'm so grateful to everything working out really quickly I kind of wasn't expecting this all to happen but I got a recommendation from someone that I was working with Diane she had applied for a job um, for this nonprofit called land paths based out of Santa Rosa and I just applied for it too, got an interview, and it ended up working out, and they had a housing option here. It also kind of doubles as one of their offices, so I will be sharing the space with people in theory. Um, they haven't moved in here yet, but it's likely that I won't even see them. They're going to be sharing um, this room, which is the sunroom. So this area right here, I kind of like made it my own little area and then to the right there's a lot more space kind of see there's just like a ton of space over there um and they will end up setting up like uh desks and stuff and there will be people here during the week that are going to do office work and i probably won't see them though because i'm going to be working like a five five day schedule so I'll be at work while they're here. I'm living by myself right now. There is another bedroom that someone could in theory move into uh, but it doesn't look like there's gonna be anyone for a little while so I like get to have this whole space to myself and I've been furnishing it for the past couple days. I'm kind of the, I'm a, the type of person who's like once I get into a space I want it to be done immediately so I spent the first two days like just shopping and I was so exhausted after it. I didn't really film anything because I was like just trying to get it done. And I went to, I don't know, like 30 different places. Cause I was like trying to find stuff on the cheap cheap and stuff that I liked. So I went to a bunch of thrift stores and then at a certain point I ended up going to like World Market and Home Goods and TJ Maxx and stuff. And I bought a lot of stuff from those stores, but I was trying to find things that were gonna be fairly inexpensive and also things I could take with me afterwards since um, I am on a six month lease here. So I will be living here until February, but when I go home in December to Virginia, I'm trying to coordinate buying a van because this is something I really wanted to do. I wanted to buy a van, build it out so that I can continue to do conservation work and not have to worry about finding housing or like affordable housing since I work seasonally and money can be tight and rent is probably the most expensive thing that any of us pay for so and I also just want to learn how to you know plumb do electric carpentry work like these are all like trade skills that I really want to learn how to do just in the effort to become like more self-sufficient Tomorrow is my first day of work at Land Path, so I'm super excited about that. I'm interested to see what it's gonna be like, cause it's definitely gonna be different from the work that I've been doing. It's gonna be more focused on teaching, education, rather than um, production, 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 and like getting stuff done at a certain time limit, like it has been for the past three summer seasons for me. So I'm kind of excited about that too. I'm also gonna be doing chainsaw work again which I haven't touched a chainsaw uh, since 2019. I'm really excited to get back on there. I think this upcoming week is gonna be a lot of introductory meeting people, kind of like learning the lay of the land, which will be nice. But then after that, field work? I'm not sure yet, honestly. <laughs> I. Uh... It's all very, like I, when I say like this happened quickly, like I applied for the job the next day they contacted me about doing an interview 
I did a preliminary interview that day. And then the following day I went for an in-person interview. They gave me the job on the spot. And then I came to look at this house four days later and I moved in the next day. So this all happened in the course of like one week. I moved in here on Thursday and it's Sunday now. So it's been like four days since I moved in here and I've basically just been furnishing the place, doing laundry, you know, tying up loose ends, getting my mail address changed and everything like that. I have had some time to chill while I'm here, which is nice. I just like been sitting around listening to music, listening to podcasts, journaling and stuff like that. But it's been kind of like a go, go, go thing for the last week and a half or so. Yeah, I'm really excited to like live in a city again because last year in the winter, I was super excited to live in Berkeley and live in the Bay Area and meet new people and start a new chapter of my life. And then both of my relationships ended. I was so depressed and then COVID happened and I just like did not get out of that what I was wanting at all. And so now it kind of feels like I'm getting a second chance with that. And uh, I'm not getting my hopes up because I don't wanna just set myself up for disappointment, but I feel like I'm in a way better headspace now than I was a year ago. It's nice here because uh, I'm kind of in like this pocketed little corner away from all of the other properties. So I can be like as loud as I want and I'm not gonna get noise complaints and I'm not around any other houses. So I can just be like, Whoa! My house is not done yet, but I can take you guys around and show you what I have furnished. A little mini pre-tour for the regular, t before the regular tour, or I don't even know. I, how do people do this? Just show you the same thing a million times. So a fun quirky thing about this house is that it has one, two, three, four. It has four doors that you can go out of, but all of them have deadbolt locks that you have to use a key lock from the inside. So like, it doesn't have like the turn thing, which can be really annoying if I'm like trying to go outside and then the, the door is locked and then I have to like go find the keys in order to go out that door. So I've just been kind of minimizing it to two doors that I use. This one's like the main front door and then the one in the sunroom is the other door I use and then there's like two back doors that I probably won't use very often but the main door you first come in and then this little living area I'm getting a couch that's gonna should be here like this morning and it's got like a little wood burning stove and then I have a little like key area with this cute little cloud shelf that leads into the kitchen I really like this bar area because I can like put stuff over here while I'm like doing food prep since the kitchen's kind of like a weird layout with the stove and the the fridge but yeah it's good it's a good size for one person and I like that it has this like window that opens up into outside because you can obviously tell the lighting is not very good it's really dark because all of the walls with the exception of the sunroom are wood paneled which is fun and re very retro, but yeah, it ends up being really dark. So all of the doors and windows that open up to the sunroom brighten it up a little bit more. And then from the kitchen, you kind of walk through this little doorway and there's like some extra storage, like maybe dry food pantry stuff. There's the other door behind me and then walking straight ahead is the bathroom. So it's nothing special. It's just like, there's no bathtub, but that's okay, whatever. Yeah, it's a pretty small bathroom. Again, another like weird layout where the toilet's like super close to the sink, but what are you gonna do? It's nice that the shower has a glass door so I don't have to buy a shower curtain. So that's in like the back of the house and then walk back through the kitchen and into my bedroom. This is the immediate view from the door. This is a nice window. I kind of got this, I got this dresser thing for free. It's kind of like an entertainment center, but you know, I don't have that many clothes anymore, so I don't have that much stuff. And then, and then it's just my bed. And I still want to get some like lighting. 
to really uh, brighten up the room so I don't have to use the overhead lighting because I I really don't like overhead lighting at all. I like a lot of ambient lighting, diffuse lighting, but I've, I've gotten some plants and then I have a little closet with all my clothes in it, which is nice. And then you come back out and you can see the wood burning stove again. And then that's the other bedroom, but uh, there's nothing in there, so there's no point in opening the door. And then I've just been decorating with the stuff I already have. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it right now. Not very interesting. Oh wait, I forgot to show you my favorite room, but we started the video in that room. So the sunroom is my favorite because it's super bright and it's really, really big. Like. It's gonna be nice for a shared space because they'll be able to have their own desk and everything and it won't feel like it's encroaching upon my space. But this is what my desk area in the sunroom looks like from a, a different perspective. So I got a little chair and then I usually try to come in through this door because it's the only room that has wood floors. Everything else is like carpeted. You can tell everything's carpeted. So I try to come in here, especially since I'm going to be living here during the rainy season. Um, I don't want to drag mud into the carpet because I don't have a carpet cleaner thing to clean that. So I got a little seating area with my shoe rack and then got my desk up in the corner with all my things. It took me forever to find a desk that I actually like because I was trying to look for something that could also double as like a dining room table. And I was realizing that like desks and, and like dining room tables are extremely different looking. And a lot of the times desks are just like a one-sided thing that you have to put up against a wall and you can't like pull it away and it'll function the same. And I was also trying to find something that was affordable. Are you guys kidding me? Furniture is so expensive. I did not realize how expensive furniture is until I had to go shop for some because most of the places, I think everywhere I've actually lived in California has been furnished, um, which is pretty lucky to be honest. Finding furniture that's affordable and also looks cute is like an impossible task. That's why I had to go to what, 30 different stores to find something I liked. But I'm glad that it ended up working out. Also, another thing that you know you could fix your problems with is waiting and waiting to get something that you actually like to pop up on Facebook Marketplace or something. But I was impatient as always. And so I was like, I'm not going home until I find all of these things that I'm looking for. And I ended up finding this white table and it meets the exact needs of what I need. It's pretty basic but it's also like fairly robust. It's super heavy um, because the frame of it's metal, but it can double as a dining room table and it's pretty big. And it was like, I got it at Ross, I think, for 60 bucks. So, I mean, it's better than some of these desks I was seeing at like discount furniture stores. They were like $250. Like, I, I can't do anything with that because I like this is one of those pieces where once I move out, I probably won't take it with me because I don't know what I'll do with it. But yeah, it's just like a really simple white table. One of my favorite things I got though is this rolly chair from the thrift store. It's, I don't know if it's real leather or faux leather, but it's definitely vintage. Um, and it's really comfortable to sit in but I got it for like 20 bucks. I like the, the little wheels on it. They're like balls, which is kind of funny to me. But yeah, it's just got a nice design and it's really comfortable to sit in and I was looking for something that wouldn't feel super sterile. I was originally gonna use these like rattan chairs. I bought these little seat cushions for them because they're, they're nice, but you know, I feel like my ass would hurt after a while. But I wanted something in the winter that I could like cozy up on and um, spend a lot of time here if I wanted to. And then I wasn't sure at first if I was gonna get a couch because I was looking for couches and 
they all seemed really expensive and that living room area is kind of an awkward shape with the wood burning stove i wasn't sure how to fit something in there that would fit under the window and then also not look really awkward but i found this little uh, white leather love seat yesterday on facebook marketplace and i think it's going to fit in there really well so far it's feeling really good living here and i'm super stoked to see what's gonna happen um, yeah.